my approach to sports has always been to speak English and to have people understand what I was talking about it and not use cliches. I don't say a, a, a baseball went yard. I say a guy hit a home run. And I do it for my mom. My mom's 96 and used to watch me on TV. So I would try to make, and it's very simple technique. Instead of saying Tom Coughlin, my mom has no idea who Tom Coughlin is, but I would begin the sentence, Giants coach Tom Coughlin. Very simple. Well, I, I about a year ago, left WNBC traditional media where I did the sports news every night. In fact, I've spent most of my 40 year career working nights doing sports news. I created a website called thatsports.com. I'm on Twitter, at Len Berman Sports. I'm on Facebook, at Len Berman's Top 5. So it's kind of, as I said at the beginning of my talk, the idea was old media transition to new media, or as I put it, what's an old fart like me doing on Twitter? Well, I always greet everything skeptically. So I really, when Twitter, Twitter first came out, I said, gee, I know this. So I never tweet, okay, I'm walking down the street having a hot dog. What I have been able to do is combine Twitter and Facebook and my website, and I send out a daily email and all of that. It's kind of great self-promotion. My last book made it to the New York Times bestseller list, and I'm convinced it did. It was a kid's book called The Greatest Moments in Sports. And I'm convinced it made it to the list because of the social media. I'll follow ESPN, you know, and, and as I mentioned inside, that's the fastest way to get information is on Twitter. There is no faster resource to know that something's happened. Boom, it's on Twitter. I follow the beat writer who writes about the Yankees, you know, and boom. There's a little injury, there's a lineup change. It's on, instantly, it's on there. You don't have to look for it. It's interesting that none of this had to do with intelligence, huh? So I guess invisibility. I mean, I don't know. You can go and do whatever you want and not be bothered and you wouldn't have to... I'm going on a plane today and I guess I wouldn't have to take my shoes off.